beautiful. I always, uh, I always tell people it's, it's way different than Atlanta just because uh, this is more city-like. You actually feel like you're in the city here. Um, I've never been a part of a city like that, like actual a city feel. So this has been an incredible experience, honestly. Love it. It feels like the, the city's behind you for real. It's like the journey probably started, you know, when, when you're like 10, 11, 12, just like finding the love for the game, you know, and like making it like your thing. In high school, I used to, you know, go late, like super late and, and go hit with my buddy Cole. And we would be hitting all night, you know, until uh, really like our arms, we would pitch, we would pitch to each other in, in the short little cage. And it was like, all right, like, Let's get each other out. So I kind of, we had fun with it. You know, we had like, that was the, the main part is why I feel like I'm here is because I had fun with it. I was like competitive with it. Like I said, I always knew someone else was working. So no matter how much work I put in, I always felt like I have to do more because someone else is doing more, you know? So it's, uh, it's something you gotta have in, inside of you, you know, that's like the drive and like uh, you gotta believe in yourself. I didn't really even know about like the draft or anything about like that stuff until probably sophomore, junior, senior, like yeah, it was like late where I was like, okay, maybe senior year, I was like, okay, this might be possible, you know, just because uh, my buddy Riley Green, obviously, like he, I knew he was going to have tons of scouts there that like the draft was something for him and I was kind of, I was there, I was like, okay, I'm going to work my butt off, but it's gonna take some someone to like me, you know. <laughs> you know, that was crazy. You know, that was uh, it's like every every ball player's dream is to hear your name and get called on that day. I was the uh, third day. Oh shoot, I forget what pick, but uh, first round, third day. <laughs> That's how we say first round or third day. But uh, yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. Everyone, you know, from from when you learn about the draft, you're like, okay, I just I just need an opportunity, you know, I just need to get my foot in the door. That's what it felt like. Uh, I knew I wasn't gonna like be handed anything, you know. So like I said, you gotta get your foot in the door and make the best of your opportunity. Here's Grissom in his major league debut. He's 0 for two. It's a high. That was like a dream. I, I actually, I actually didn't believe it happened for a while. <laughs> like I was like, "There's no way." Like I'm gonna wake up here soon. But uh, seriously, like there was like a a movie feel to that. Obviously, like coming here and coming to this park and you know getting up and just seeing the monster and just the whole feel, like the fans. It was like a it was like a movie that I've you know. It was weird being the, the main character. I remember when I hit it, it literally, on everything I love, it felt like that, that, that moment in Haddenberg, when Haddenberg hit the home run in um, Moneyball. Oh my gosh, I, I was in third person. Like I hit the ball and it's like, like frozen time. And I see, like the con I see the contact, like the ball, like compress against my bat. And I'm like, okay, frozen. And then it's like in slow motion, I see like the trajectory. And I'm like, oh, that's out of here, <laughs> you know? So I watched it like two weeks after and it like really hit me when like it panned to my mom and my dad and my sister and my girl, like I couldn't believe it. I was proud of myself for making that moment for my parents, you know, like my parents sacrificed so much for me. And like I said, just being able to make that moment for them, it was like, that was enough, you know? That was cool. A lot of the Boston Red Sox fans, they were like, in the video, you can see them like clapping for me. Yeah. Like they, they were excited for me too. And I, I know I was on the other team and stuff. And we even had um, Red Sox fans near my parents. And uh, there was this one guy, I like went up to my mom, she's like, hey, he's gonna hit a home run right here. And like, it's coming, like, you know? So it was like a, it was an energy thing, you know, throughout the, the stadium, and I, I, I'm glad I was, you know, a part of it. Bon Grissom, his first major league hit, and it's a two-run blast at Fenway Park. One of the first books I read was about the monster, like the you know the Green Monster, and and Fenway Park, and um, a lot, all the teams I've played on growing up to this point, I've been like 
Red Sox, Reds, Red Sox. It was always Reds, Reds, Red, Red Sox. And uh, yeah, when it first happened, I'm like, no way. Like I already have like my Little League caps, you know, like hanging up on my wall and stuff. And it's all Red Sox stuff. It was just, uh, who knew I was gonna be a Red Sox except, you know, when I was a kid, I was on the, all these like Red Sox teams. It's weird, like I said, full circle. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. How's good, yeah. Mom? Good, and you? Good. So my friend was here on the day you hit your first home run. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Good one to be a part of. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Got you. Enjoy the game, guys.